All right. Uh, this is trapezoid, rhombus, and kites area. Um, as a warm up, it, I'd suggest you do that. Uh, I want you to notice something. It says um, change this to square feet, and it gives you a rectangle. Um, it says this is nine meters, and then this is 18.5 meters. Um, and it says that one meter is equal to three, or approximately equal to. 3.28 feet, okay? Uh, notice what you have to do, right? So you have to change it twice. That affects it twice. So uh, whenever I give you an area of something in meters and I say go to feet, uh, you have to change it twice, okay? Because areas is meters squared, all right? So uh, make sure you pay attention to that. So this is going to be 9 times 3.28, and that's going to give me my new, uh, my new height of 29.52 feet. And then this is 18.5 times 3.28, which is going to give me, what, 60.68. Uh, feet. Now I have to multiply those two together. Multiply these two together to find my new area, and my new area will be 1,791.3 feet squared. What would it have been the other way? What would it have been the other way? If I had this and I found the area of that 9 times 18.5, 9 times 18.5 gives me 166.5 meters squared. If I want to change meters squared to feet squared, look at what I have to do. This is probably the most important portion of this entire lesson. I have to change it twice. So if I'm taking meters to feet, I'm multiplying this number, 166.5 times 3.28 to get to feet. And I only hit 546.12 feet, but it's so far away. I have to do it again because it's feet squared. We're doing two different times. We're, we're changing meters once for this one and once again for this one to feet. Okay, so I have to do this two times. And then I will finally get 1791.2 three feet squared okay notice it happened twice once for the base and once for the height okay that is the most important portion of this entire lesson now on to trapezoids trapezoids is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides called bases the height of a trapezoid is perpendicular distance between those bases and the area of a trapezoid is one time one half times the height times the base one plus base two. Base one plus base two. Okay, so we know that this is a trapezoid. These two things are parallel and they're called bases. We know that a height has to be 90 degrees uh, perpendicular to that base. We call this one base one, this one base two. Um, what else? And then area is equal to one half times the height times base one plus base two. That's important, that plus sign. All right, let's do some practice problems. Find the area of each trapezoid. This trapezoid is on its side. Ooh, tricky, tricky. It's number one. And it says our base here is 24 and our base here is 12. And then it says our height is 28. So we're going to plug that in. Area is equal to one half times the height times base one plus base two. Plug that into our calculator. <clears throat> and we get 504, 504 units squared. It doesn't specify, right? All right, we have another trapezoid for number two. It says that this is 20 and a half or 20.5 feet. It says that the height is 38 and a quarter feet or 38.25 feet. And then it says this portion down here is five feet on this side 
and five feet on this side. That means that, oh, and these are 90 degree angles right here. So that means that this is also 20.5. So we'll have a bottom of 30.5, five and five and 20.5, make a total of 30.5 feet. Okay, so let's find that area. Area is equal to one half times the height, 38 point, I'm gonna change that to 0.5 times 38.25 times 20.5 plus 30.5. When we do that, we find that our area is 975.4 feet squared. All right, uh, number three, number three says it's an upside down trapezoid and it says eight here. It says this is 30 degrees here. You need to know this 30, 60, 90 rules, right? Um, and then it says this whole thing is 12 up here, which means, and then it gives us perpendicular lines, which means these must also be perpendicular to each other either. Uh, also, these two little short legs must also be perpendicular to each other uh, because, let's see here. So we know that this portion is, these portions added together are going to be this missing portion between these two. So these portions together will give me four, which means that this by itself is two. This is a 30, 60, 90. So I know that my hypotenuse is got to be, four, which is two times X, this is X, so two X, and then X times the square root of three for our height. So we have our area is equal to one half times two times the square root of three for our height times base one plus base two, it doesn't matter what order that's in. Plug that into your calculator, 0. 0.5 times two times the square root of three times, 20 times 20 and you get the area is equal to 34.6 approximately equal to 34.6 uh, inches squared all right number four says uh the area of a trapezoid is five so area is equal to five four nine centimeters squared and has a height of 18 centimeters. One base measures 35. Uh, we know that one of the base is 35 centimeters. What's the length of the other base? Great, great question. So let's draw it. We don't know which base is which just yet, so it doesn't matter what we choose. Our height is gonna be 18. One of our bases is 35. Just plug it in. It doesn't matter which one we plug in for our base because we're adding those bases together. So our area, or 549, must be equal to 0.5 times the height of 18 times 35 plus x. It doesn't matter what order. All right. So we multiply here and get 9. And then we do this, multiply here and here, and we get, what is that, 315. 549 is equal to 315 plus 9x. Subtract 315 on both sides, and I will get 230, 234 is equal to 9x. Divide by 9, and I will find out that my missing base is 26. So my base, I know that's base 1, is equal to 26. That's what it's looking for. 26 what? 26 centimeters. And then we're done. All right. Uh, number five. Nope. Oh, moves on to rhombi. Okay. A rhombus is a parallelogram with all four sides congruent. Great. So rhombus must mean that all four sides are congruent. And then a kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two pair of consecutive sides. So a kite will always have two pair of consecutive sides. One pair, two pair. And then these angles will always be the same. These ang angles will be different. All right, area of a rhombus is gonna be one half D1 times D2. Uh, that's diagonal one times diagonal two. So it's one half D1 times D2. 
diagonal one times diagonal two. All right, so let's do that. Um, oh, and it's the same thing for kites as well. Diagonal one times diagonal two. One half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Great, number one has a rhombus and it says this is 10, this is 10, this is 20, and this is 20, and it wants us to find the area. This is 40, this is 20, so area is equal to 1 half times 40 times 20, which is 400 units squared. Number two says we have this Rom oops, someone's calling me, I was paying attention to that, sorry. Uh, this right here, and it says that we have 12, which means all the sides are 12 if it's a rhombus. And then it says this is a 60 degree angle right here. So that will help us find the other measures. Opposite 30 degrees, half of that, which is six. And then that must be six times the root three. So I know that I will have Let's draw it prettier. My first diagonal will be six root three and six root three or 12 root three. And I will have six and six for that one, so 12. So I will do area is equal to one half times 12 and 12 root three. Multiply those together, 0.5 times 12 times 12 root three, and we get the area is equal to 124.7 units squared. Same thing with a kite, same thing with a kite. Let's do this, number, what is that? Number three, number three, we have a kite, and then it says we got two diagonals. This one's 56, this one's 20, this one's 20, this one's 26, so I know that this is going to be, what, 70, 82, and this is going to be 40. So one, our area is equal to 1 half times 40 times 82. Plug that into our calculator, and we get 1,640 inches squared. Number four. Number four says this is a kite. Then it says this whole thing is 20 centimeters, which happens to be one of our diagonals. And then it says this piece right here is X. This whole thing is gonna be X. So, um, and then it gives us the area is 340 centimeters squared. Find X, the diagonal. It wants to know the whole diagonal, okay? So I know that that is gonna be equal to 1 half times 20, times x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10 and I will get 34 is equal to x. So x is equal to 34 centimeters. I did 10 because that's one half times 20 is 10. All right, uh, number seven. Hopefully I can finish this one in a minute and change. Uh, rhombus has a perimeter. So we're talking about a rhombus. Uh, has a perimeter of 80 meters, so I know that a rhombus is all congruent sides, so if that's 80, if perimeter is equal to 80, then I know that it's 20, 20, 20, and 20. Uh, the length of one diagonal is 24, so the length of one diagonal is 24, is 24. Uh, what is the length of the other diagonal? Or no, find the area of the diagonal. All right, so we know if that's 24, then this piece must be 12. Um, let's see here. We know this must also be 12. And then we have this right here. So they're always going to be equal to 30, 60, 90 triangles. No, not always. Never mind. Not always equal to 30, 60, 90 triangles, but we do have a right triangle. So we're missing this portion right here. So we have 12 squared times x squared is equal to 20 squared. So 12 squared plus x squared is equal to 20 squared, 144 and 400 subtract, and that gives us, what, 16 for x. Then we plug it in, 1 half times 24 times 16, 
384 meters squared.